what's going on is the Lakers, well, they took care of the Grizz. That series is supposed to be a, a little better than that, actually, right? Like, It went six. It went six. You figure it would go seven, though. Grizzlies, that's a 7-2 matchup. John Morant, by the way, took responsibility for the Grizzlies' struggles. Uh, I just got to be better, you know, with my decision making. It's pretty much it, you know. Off the court issues, you know, um, affected us as a, you know, uh, organization, um, pretty much. So, yeah, there's more discipline. I mean, it's not just that it didn't go seven; it's that they got break speed off him. That's good. That's good. Though he game. stepped up. That's good. He stepped up and, and addressed that issue head on. I, I'm, I'm proud of him for that. Now he Agreed. just got to live it and and make sure that he stick. Stick by it, right, Jay? Mm-hmm. Don't want, want to just understand that maybe that did contribute to them getting smacked by 40. I mean, look. Maybe at, it did. Key, at the end of the day, you will have a certain tribe of people that will call them names, call them front runners, and there's an element of that in them to a degree. But can I like, be in that tribe? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, sounds like we're, we're, tribe, we're a little bit in that tribe. I certainly yeah, we're in believe that, tribe. that they are front runners. Yeah, well, I mean, but there's – I'll get back to that point in a second. Mm-hmm. I think the bigger point is when you listen to Giannis talk about failure and steps towards success, you listen to De'Aaron Fox last night saying this is a learning experience for guys who are young in the league or any stage of life, like what you do with what you've learned and how you build upon that – is the true testament of who you are to me. So I, I want to see – I like the acknowledgement of it. I want to see him continued improvement to work towards that. Now, the one problem I do have with the Grizzlies key is when the series is over, I, I, I don't like the hugging and laughing. You just got your ass smacked, yo. I mean, what you going to do, walk off our side yes. of losers? Yeah. No, I'm, I'm, I'm going to shake your hand, but I'm, I'm angry. Let me see that bitter I mean, pill you have to swallow like there's a little bit of, There's a little bit of Dylan Brooks who I'm like, all right, that, that's, that's fraudulent, but at least I know who you are. Like, at least I know who you are. Like, he didn't talk to the media for three games in a row. Now, mm-hmm. I would address him and tell him to talk to the media and handle it like a real man, but at least – he is angry. There's something I know about them. The the, the friendliness and the laughter is he and angry the joking. Or is he embarrassed? It's both. It's whatever you want to call, it, but at least it's consistent. I know what it is. There's a little bit of the ups and downs where I'm still trying to find out who Memphis is. Like when Detroit lost, they were pissed. They were coming. They were hungry. There still feels like a a little bit of an immaturity with Memphis when I watch them play. Them not knowing what they stand for yet. That's just me. No, I I, I understand. I me. get it. I understand what you're saying. But the Lakers own them, and they have to respect LeBron and AD and company. And when you get beat down like that, you you know you just you got to pay homage to what just happened to you. Yeah, now, me personally, mm. I would have left it with straight to the locker room. That's yeah. me. But key, I can pay homage to you. Not... You can beat my head in after a game. If I'm a corner. You give me the business. Like I'm gonna shake your hand. I'm gonna be respectful. Like, I'm not going to sit there and laugh with you after the game and smile. Well, we, and, by we the way, and by the way, really. like, no, I'm just this is just me being the competitive person I am. Well, what, what if there's a conversation, though, Jay, that That's they're what having? I, you know how you whisper in somebody, you say something funny, like, man, we just whoop de whoop de whoop said something to you, uh, and it made you smile, made you laugh. And so I don't want to get on them too heavy No, no, I'm not getting on. I'm just telling you who I am. Yeah, I ain't going to smile at you if you're talking trash to me after the whole game. thing was a little jovial. You know I ain't going to smile. And by the way, Keith, when I'm walking out of the stadium – and fans are going, nah, 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 hey, hey, hey. Like, all right, I'm going to see your asses next year. I'm going to come here and bust your head open. Hey, Can't hey. wait for it. Goodbye. Can't wait. There's a little bit of that, like, Goodbye. where he's, like, joking. Yeah. Like, I just, there's, we're watching him grow up yeah. in front of our eyes. And I think that that's the next step for Ja and where he needs let's to go. Let's talk about, well, I think let's a lot talk about of, I think what he a said lot, though, Hold on one sec, Max. I think a lot of what has gone on with this team, they burst onto the scene three years ago or so. And they've been coming, right? They've been coming and coming. And we just said, oh, we put them up at the top all the time. And now two straight years in a row, whether it was because Ja got injured a year ago against Golden State, whatever you want to call it, they never made it. They didn't get out. Then you look at it this year, they're two seed versus a seven seed. Oh, Ja comes back. Oh, they're going to be doing this and that. They just got beat by 40 points, okay, by an old team that looked like the game before – 
that the dude legs need to be replaced because he was so damn tired and wore down at 38 years old. And now you allow them to come and put 40 on you. Not four, 40. So, so let's get back to Ja now. What he said was very encouraging. It's not just that he said something. It's the content of what he said. When he said he needs to get to have better decision-making as the leader on and off the floor, right, when he's specific like that, off the court, it's obvious, right? He, he got himself in trouble, you know, unforced errors left and right. But on the court, Jay, what about the fact that I like the fact that he said that because obviously he's taking responsibility for the off-court behavior, but on the court, he's incredible to watch. He's an incredible scorer, and he can play point guard, right? But he has not yet made his team better. It's too cl- – like when he hasn't played, they've still been able to tread water basically with the same record as when he has played, and the sample size is getting larger and larger. So he has to figure out, the, as the guy with the ball in his hands as a decision maker, he's got to figure out how to elevate his team, right? Isn't that part of it? Well, and that happens in time. But also I think it's the, your approach towards the game. So on, on the court and off the court all go together for me, man. It, it's a lifestyle that's 24-7, 365. It's a switch that you can't turn off. So I'm looking at the – you look at the box score, like watching the game and looking at the box score, and you're like, yo, plus minus? Like you minus 31. Yeah. You lead the team. 10 points. Game, Should like never game, be that way. Game seven, three or 16 from the field. I mean, game six in the closeout scenario. So I like the accountability, but it's, you look at it in its total, like total, totality. Jeez, like if I can only drink more coffee this morning. Totality, right? You're saying, okay, actions off the court, you know, habits on the court. Like it's time to be fused all together. Grizzlies GM Zach Kleiman was asked about Dylan Brooks during his presser yesterday. He, uh, you know, about the team's bravado and Dylan Brooks. Here's the quote, ready? There were definitely some self-created distractions in this series, and al- along the way, we're going to take a different approach next season. <laughs> He's asked well, about Brooks again. He said, I'll hit on Dylan another day. Well, Dylan Brooks is a free agent. So we, we keep talking about, I mean, now the question is, what team is Dylan Brooks going to play for? And if I'm, I'm, if I'm Memphis, I'm looking for alternatives. I'm looking, what's happening here in Toronto? You guys having a mass exodus over there? Masai Ujiri? Like, you talking about getting rid of OG Ananobi? You talking about maybe Pascal Siakam? Like, Jalen Brown, are you all NBA? You not all NBA? Like, do you want to be with the Boston Celtics? Would you like to be part here? Because they need some maturity in that locker room. And, and I, by the way, since he clapped all that stuff, Key, since game two, when they got that win, three of 13, game three, game four, four of 11, game five, three of 15, game six, four of 11. Poked the bear. The Grizzlies poked the bear. You're going to poke the, the bear. You got to come to the table now and be ready to play, too. I do think, Ja, I, like, mm. I, like Dylan Brooks, I agree with you. You replace him with Jalen. I mean, obviously, it's a huge upgrade, and the Grizzlies are fearsome at that point, right? You would think. Ja, like a lot of high-flying, like super athletic scoring type dudes, <laughs> going to have to figure out how to make the players around him better. And, you know, that's not, a, that's not a sure thing that he can do it. But when you look at the raw material, when you compare him, like, to Derrick Rose or someone, like, he could do a lot of that, plus he can shoot. Like, he can do everything you need him to let's do. Let's just say, uh, and this is not making an excuse for Memphis at all, I think Ja can make players around him better. Has he done it on that stage yet? Not yet. Well, I mean, last year he was hurt. Yep. He made them better in the first couple of games. I mean, you, they you missed would... one a game one. They missed that. They should have won. But he's, he's made his teammates better. Um, if they had had Steven Adams and Brandon Clark – this would have been a different series. Do you think they win it, though? Because they got I, blown out by 40 points I, in the I think six it's games. A, I think it's a very different series. I don't think the Lakers can beat them up on the boards. I think AD's impact is slightly different with Steven Adams going against him. It comes down to Dennis Schroeder, Austin Reeves, D'Lo, and their ability to guard perimeter-wise. But, Jay. T- that all they do is run around and shoot threes. Are they allowed to activate Kyrie for this series? So, Jay, the, it's, got a, one it's of a the bad best. matchup of styles. Okay, so th- their offensive style and our defensive style don't work. Our defensive style can't combat their offensive style. Even though we're one of the top defensive units in the NBA, they do not with this, not against this offense. Not, not against their shooting and their style in which they play. I think that, that, that stylistic, that, that, well, that style is different because you guys are a bigger team, right? Yeah, so you're going to try to 
it's like the same way with Memphis. You dominate the boards. You get points in the paint. It'll be, it'll, it'll be that same style against Golden State. But, Key, that's where you get the into the difference is they threes hit they shots. Threes or twos, they yeah. Shots, right? When they start making, when they start hitting those rolls, you got to find a way to slow the game down and get it back down low it's on the block. It's not just, by the way, with, with like in terms of the glass, it's not just Draymond. It's Kevon Looney. Like they, re- <laughs> he's been playing out of his mind, right? Like so, you start to look at role players like that. If they're going to play like that, it's going to be very tough. Yeah, but we clean the boards though. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm we, saying we Dex and on the off. Looney had like we, we we do a good job on cleaning the boards. The problem is they don't miss radar. That's the so thing. We're okay, going to yeah. be standing up there just get the ball out the net. No, wait, I mean, look, you right, got yeah. to minimize shots from the outside contest, and you have to dominate the boards. Like, that, that, you have to turn that into a half-court exchange. And, like, you know, we talk about Golden State being a momentum-like team. When they knock down a three, all of a sudden it's three, 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 boom, 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 they score in spurts. So slowing down the game and crashing the boards is the key to victory. You get Lakers. four, you get four, they get 12. That's what happens a lot of times. That's where Sacramento is able to maintain, keep up, because they can score at the same rate. So, in other words, you're saying we don't have a shot, got it. <laughs> you said 30%, something like that, right? 35%. Yeah. 30, yeah, they, have, they have a one and three shot. That's not so bad. Not yeah. bad. I agree with that. You got LeBron James in a good squad. You got a shot. I was sitting there. I was sitting watching a game with my little buddy that uh, did the video for us. And poor kid, he really, he you know, a Laker guy. So, he really – really wanted Sacramento to win because he felt we had a better shot against Sacramento. Now he realizes it's Golden State. We might not get out of the second round. Just just keep in mind, man, everyone knew the Lakers weren't going to chip up this year. And here Whoa. they are in the next round. Let's be realistic. And here they are in the second round with LeBron. AD is healthy. They got a crew. You got even people but like I, Jay saying, nah, the Warriors should win, saying they got like a one in three shot to advance to the conference finals. It's more than you could have expected, especially before the trade went down, right? Like well, before the, the trade, are, before the mm, trade, there was a different team. Okay. But do you know at that moment it's going to turn into this level of success? Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.